Welcome to the kitchen sink. Now please welcome your hosts, Andy Radke and Brett Johnson. Hello everybody, how you doing? Happy Easter and welcome to episode number eight of the kitchen sink. Number eight. Number nice. eight. My name is Andy. I'm Brett. And I want to welcome you to uh, yet another episode where, yeah. uh, you know, we provide our valuable insight onto uh, God knows what, <laughs> you know. Yep. Useless crap. Whatever's on our minds. Whatever's on our minds, as, yeah. as per usual. Oh, it's yeah. uh, it's Easter Sunday. Yep. Nothing's open today. And uh, oh, I was gonna say something, but not. I was gonna. <laughs> I was uh, gonna. I was gonna go somewhere. With that. Uh, <laughs> I'll go there. No, 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 no. Sure. Not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right. But, uh, well, we're two episodes away from double digits. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, two more to go until we're at episode ten. That's pretty wild. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a really good Easter. I hope the Easter bunny was good for you, good to you. Yeah. You know? Just don't eat the black jelly beans if he no. left you some. No. If, he, uh, <laughs> if the Easter bunny left you uh, brown eggs, do not eat them. It's not chocolate. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a pretty good long weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We went to uh, the... It wasn't fi- really a long weekend for me. I worked on Friday, but still. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went to the Fixed Gear uh, Brewing on yesterday. Yes. Uh, for the open mic, yep. as we told you we were going to do. And uh, it was an absolute blast. I absolutely loved it. Because um, last open mic I had gone to was back in November when it was uh, held at the D-Bar yep. downtown. Yes. And uh, the same guy that, that hosted it there is hosting it here. Uh, yes. Donnie and uh, really nice guy. A couple weeks ago, he asked me to come out, and I couldn't for whatever reason. Like I was busy, and uh, but I, I just, we decided to make the trek out uh, yesterday, and that's a really cool place. I, yeah, I, 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 really I, I was know. impressed. We had um, well, you had, we had Keith with us. And yeah, I Keith bought, came along. Yeah, I paid for. I was said I was going to pay for our drinks. We had like two pops each. Yeah, yeah. And we had like three cookies, and I went to go pay, and the guy only charged me for the cookies, yeah, which so I thought was nice. I was expecting twenty dollars, I only paid five. Yeah, I didn't even charge for the pops. So yeah, and the pops wasn't that expensive. Three dollars for a glass yeah, of pop. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's bad. Like fountain drinks, whatever. But yeah, still um, not bad. The, yeah, it was really good. The open mic was great. Yes, uh, a ton of talent. The place is packed too. Like, yeah, a lot of people. They're a great audience. Um, I did. I did about three songs. But uh, like Donnie said, Dad. Uh, wasn't as packed as it, it normally is because it was Easter weekend. Right, right, yeah. That's all. But uh, a really good range of different talent. Oh, yeah. There. And um, it, was, it was nice to go back and, and do that because it's been so long. And um, I a lot of, you know, there's a big part of me that questioned whether I'd have as much fun doing it without my guitarist who I used to go with. All yeah, time. I know, I know. And uh, sure enough, had a blast. Donnie, the host, uh, back backed me up, played guitar. Yeah, and uh, we gotta get uh, collaborating on some more stuff. We'll get learn some more songs yeah. together, because uh, with, with my previous guitarist, we had like about fifty songs in our back pocket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have thrown out at any time, and a lot more limited with Donnie because we only know so much. Uh, and I'm still doing what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to try to learn how to play with guitar myself. Oh, there we go. Yeah. My post on there. My one cousin told me if I ever get up near my dad's and that he'll show me some stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. And some people have told me there's uh, videos on YouTube that can teach you how to play the guitar. Oh, there you go. So. I just got to get the guitar now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, just make sure you don't go to a porn site because you don't want to learn to play the skin flute instead. That's not fun. Oh, and this one time? No, I'll go. Camp? I'll just get a girl to do that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, it was uh, no, it was a blast. I had so much. I had what well, you saw. I was oh yeah, I was cloud nine yesterday. And um, like we were I'll, there, we stayed for the whole three hours. I'll shoot you. I forgot. To, I'll send you the pictures that I got of you up on stage. Oh, there. right on, right on. Yeah. Cool. So you can put some up there. Yeah. And there's a video too. Yeah. And um, <coughs> sorry. No, it was. Uh, yeah, it was a really good time. I had a blast. Oh, I had fun too. And it was and, only uh, like what a ten minute walk from your place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then a five minute walk back because it's all downhill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> it's uphill to get there. Downhill. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, that was uh, a really good time. Yeah. Really good time. Um, and you enjoyed the burger I made for you. Yeah, I went back to his place. He made hamburgers in the air fryer. That was tasty. Yeah. And uh, fries and whatnot. So that yeah. was all good. Stuck around to about 8.30. And oh, yeah. Called her day. It was a busy day. I guess. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I still didn't get much sleep. Like I said, I crashed <laughs> around midnight last night. I was up at 4.30 this morning and just stayed up. So Yeah, well. I told you what time I went to bed. Yeah, yeah. Five this morning. It was up at nine. Yeah, so I don't Couldn't know. Couldn't sleep. I don't feel tired, though. I'm not that bad either. Yeah. I'm not, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, 
It's all good, but yeah. um, yeah, we um, I don't know if you heard about the you probably heard about this the uh, the Balt the Baltimore uh, Bridge. Court. Yes, yes, I did hear it about happened that. Happened earlier yes. this week. Yeah, um, very sad thing. It was the uh, oh, what was the name of it? Christopher Francis Key Bridge or something like that. Yeah, Scott something. Francis Key. Yeah, bridge. That collapsed in Baltimore. I don't know how this, many people they said that. No, that well, well, this cargo ship hit it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the crew on the ship, like I guess the, the ship lost power. And uh, I guess it hit, it hit this uh, the, the bridge at about 15 kilometers an hour. Yeah, there's been some things um, that they're saying is sus about it because there's I, I, I saw some reports, but apparently they said the black box there is missing two minutes. Oh. And it's the two minutes where they lost power. And a lot of people are like, those things aren't supposed to, mm-hmm. they're supposed to continue recording even so. So right, some right. people are like, what's going on there? Ah, okay. It's kind of sus. All for you uh, conspiracy theorists. Well, there. no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just saying what I've yeah. heard other things. But apparently the entire crew on the ship was unharmed. Yeah. Uh, apparently there were six uh, construction workers on site that were filling potholes or whatever. Yeah. Two bodies were recovered. Apparently four are uh, presumed dead, still the bodies have not been found I thought there yet. was a bunch of cars and stuff that went into the water, too. Uh, I'm only going by what I read in the article yesterday. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll see the footage. Um, but I, I couldn't believe that. No, I can't and, either. And it's, but uh, the bridge itself, I guess, is like 47 years old. Yeah. Apparently, it, it just it wasn't stru- as st- structurally sound to withstand that kind of uh, an impact. Yeah, they figure they could, the the <clears throat> the people who constructed the bridge could have done more to to make it stronger, and so it would. But uh, yeah, but then again, uh, I don't. Uh, they they might not have had ships that big too at the time they built them too. So I don't know. It's like things change over time. Oh yeah, yeah. but you think the city might have actually inspected it in China? So. Yeah, no, sure. there's a lot of people there. <laughs> to but, blame. Uh, but no, he went to the. Um, uh, see, I live in a co-op. We went to the uh, uh, a town hall meeting on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, and uh, that's when my mom showed me the video. And like my my, my jaw just dropped. Oh yeah, I saw it my too. Just, and, uh, but uh, yeah, this meeting. I was actually um, I don't even know if I told you this. I was. No. We went to this uh, the town hall meeting. Yeah. Like, but since COVID hit, we've had these meeting meetings virtually. Yeah. Through uh, something like Zoom, it was yeah, called yeah, Microsoft yeah, Teams. Yeah, yeah, I know so what that is. So we've been doing it that way, and this was actually the first in-person meeting since COVID. Yeah. Uh, so it, was, it takes place at this church, which is about a five-minute walk from where I from where I live. Oh yeah. And uh, we went in there, and um, you know, the people that are putting on the meeting were kind of in a panic. Yeah. Because they were simultaneously doing in-person and virtual. Oh jeez. Right? So they were trying to find the uh, Wi-Fi password to this church so they could do this. Yeah. And with no luck. Apparently, they got a hold of this one guy, and apparently he had no idea what it was or whatever. Yeah. So um, I spoke up. I said, well, if you guys need my Wi-Fi hotspot, because I'm, I'm sitting on like 160 gigs of unused oh, yeah. data. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because um, I'm on an 80 gig plan, and I get the rollover, and I use very little. Yeah, I have the same thing. So, so I, had all, I had about 155 gigs Available, like that, just I, sitting there. I, I what, told you about my plan. They gave me the eighty gig one, and then they turned yeah. around and offered me eighty more. So yeah. I got like a hundred. So anyway, I uh, I offered this, and they said, uh, well, I, pre- I, pre- "I pretty much saved the meeting, basically." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then they were trying to uh, connect the laptop to the uh, big TV. They had a big TV there, so people in person could see. So the what you're trying to say is they weren't tech savvy. No, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> okay. So I ended up managing to hook that up for them and oh, all that. Geez. So, um, so did you get a reduction in your rent? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, no, it's uh, well, you know, it, it kind of felt nice to be needed. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. To be there to actually help people when they need yeah, it. So, yeah. You know, I don't get that opportunity too often, aside from my own family. You know. Yep. And I love helping people. I love you know. If, oh, if, I know. If, if I can, I will. I know. You know, and. Um, but, oh, your uh, list went out on you. Oh, it's okay. Okay. But, um, yeah, so that was all right. And uh, I don't going to get into the whole rigmarole about the meeting, but just basically rent increases and a lot of people up in arms about it and all that. And yeah, well, at this time. They such is life. And, well. Such is life. I understand. The, uh, I was just going to say with how things are going now with money and that, a lot of people are up in arms about everything. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. But, but anyways. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. 
Roll with the punches. That's all you can do. So I saw a thing on uh, the Today Show this uh, earlier this week. Okay. Where um, the school where they filmed Footloose yeah. is closing down. Wouldn't that be yesterday's show? Okay. <laughs> you said sometime this week. You said the Today Show. Oh, I geez. said yes. No. I'm, no, this was earlier I'm last week. I'm trying to do a dad joke. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, You're in this, yeah. in school. Okay. So, yeah, I saw the... I hate when I lose my train of sorry, thought. I'm sorry, getting sorry. old. I, if I don't, yeah. Um, so yeah, the school is where they filmed Footloose. Yeah. So the, the uh, student body uh, are having their senior prom. They're trying to get Kevin Bacon to attend this thing. Oh, before cool. Before the school closes down. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. So um, they, um, you know, they offered to donate money and whatnot to his charity, which is called Six Degrees. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's, that's I, I, know, I know what it is. So um, they uh, had this big rally, and they, they they were on live on the Today Show. Yeah. Uh, with the host and all this and with all these students. These two, yes. these two students actually put this whole thing together. Oh, nice. And they got uh, nice, Kevin nice. Ba- they got Kevin Bacon on, on screen. Yeah. Yeah. And he personally accepted the invitation, so he's going to be there for that prom. Nice. At the nice. school where they filmed Footloose. That is sweet. That's, That's sweet. Not, I thought that was a really cool story. Yeah, 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 that is. And I love that film. I oh, love, I do I too. I love Footloose. And, and you, I even like the remake. Yes, so do I. Yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah. But the movie came out like 40 years ago this year. It came out in 84. Oh, I feel so, old. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so it's been forty years, but for, forty years. Yeah, wow. For, for them to invite him back and for him to accept, that's a, that's cool. Yes, that is. That's a really cool thing for him to do. That. Yeah. And I thought that was that was really sweet. But that's a little story I wanted to yep, get out there that, for sure. That is, that is good. But um, what else you got on our uh, notes? He yeah. actually prepared this time. Yeah, yeah. I got my tablet here and all that. Yeah. But um, no, I um. Well, we talked about your loss shirt last week yes i know i know so i I went ahead and i ordered him a replacement one okay and um lo and behold i was also like uh, the 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 price of the shirt is five initially five dollars more online than what was at the show yeah so i get 20 you paid 25 flat at the show yeah it was 30 30 bucks online so i go to checkout comes up to 53 and change wow Twenty dollars in change for for shipping for this damn thing. Holy crap! Yeah, and uh, Is next day shipping or something? No, no, it's no, no <laughs> standard. Actually, wow. that was the cheapest option. Holy crap! Yeah, so I was, and it, it surprised me because I mean they're an Ontario band. Yeah, I figured okay, they're, they're going to probably ship from Ontario. Like I yeah. figured a couple bucks tops. Yeah, but no, there was thirty bucks plus the tax plus the shipping, and thirty fifty three bucks. Holy! Like crap. oh my god! But I'm a man of my word. Told him I was going to get it. And, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to go back on that, so, mm-hmm. I, so I got it for you. And, and and to add fuel to the fire, listen to this. I ordered, the, I ordered this shirt about 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You, you know, I have trouble sleeping, so I figure, okay, I'm up. I'm going to pay my bills, do all that. So I, I go to order the shirt, and I go check my uh, bank statement online. And it says that the shirt was purchased the day before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which wasn't. Yeah, it was two. It was after midnight. It was two that day, but this showed up um, as the previous day. Mm-hmm. And see, my money went into the bank that morning. So because it showed up on my statement prior to when my money went in, mm-hmm. it came up as an o- uh, an overdraft. Yeah, an over. So I got dinged for fi- I got dinged five dollars for an overhandling charge because according to their system, that purchase was made before the money was in the bank to cover it. Yeah. How fucked up is that? Oh, that is. So basically, I, was, I, I, I bought you a $60 shirt. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually, I, I, I remember you told me that yesterday. I checked it out in. Technically, um, the because you were waiting for your ODSP check, right? Yeah. They don't technically get deposit until uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. That was in it, too. I know. It's weird. Some Sometimes them, I've had it in right after midnight. Yeah, I know. It's it's just weird. Uh, yeah, they're... But that's, kind of, but that's neither here nor there. Or whatever their system, their purchase their system, system was... screwed up. Like, uh, maybe it's in a different time zone or something, but for whatever reason, it showed us the day before. So uh, maybe where your purchase is from isn't from Ontario, then that's probably... Well, it's my guess. It's probably from somewhere else. Yeah, they're probably using a... Hence the $20 shipping ship charge, because anywhere to ship a t-shirt within Canada should not cost you 20 fucking dollars. No, I don't. You know, a fucking dresser. A dresser shouldn't cost twenty dollars to ship in Canada. Yeah, but um, 
Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's all right. Like I said, I got it for him, and uh, I'll just have to buy them from now on when we go see. Yeah, them. which brings us to our next point. <laughs> I decided to surprise Brett here the other night, Friday night. Like we told you last week, that or, or Brett told you last week that the Mudmen were coming to Fergus mm-hmm. this fall. So, I took it upon myself. I looked up the location, Fergus Grand Theater. Tickets are already on sale. And uh, I was actually shocked by this. the price of the tickets. Were cheaper than what we paid here. $35 flat. That's in, that includes taxes, service fees, whatever. $35. we got to keep an eye on that theater, yeah. too. $35. So, I bought a ticket for myself, one for Brett, and one for my mom. So, I want my mom to go to this. Yeah. Because uh, she never gets out. And uh, she deserves a fun night out. And she likes their music. Yeah, she enjoyed the music, so... I uh, I was gonna I was gonna wait till this podcast to, to spring it on you. Yeah, but you told me last <laughs> yesterday. I, 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 I can't keep surprises for long. I <laughs> yeah, I, I was dying to tell him. So yeah, I, so we're going to the show again. You know? Yeah, but then we got second row center stage again too. And like dead center. Well, and I already told you. I looked it up. Uh, the the Aaron one is the Aaron Fall Fair. So That's if right, it's good too, weather. Yeah. Yeah. We might uh, we'll go to see them because according to the website, and that all we have to do is pay for the admission of the fair, and it's that's like, about, like eighteen eighteen bucks. Something eighteen like bucks is still not bad, and that's you get to t- enjoy it because we've done that at the Fergus Ball Fair. Oh yeah, and they don't get any good acts, but earrings like oh shit, sure. and that's Thanksgiving weekend. Too. Yeah, that's cool. So that'd be good. Yeah. So we might see them watch twice, the, and we'll tell you about it. Well, watch the Mud Men concert while noshing on the turkey leg. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That'd be all right. Well, it's in their beer tent, so maybe we'll <laughs> have some uh, bratwurst or something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it is October. Yeah, but I'm excited to see them again. Like oh, I, said, I am, after, too. After last week's show, I am a bona fide yeah. fan. Like I said, I'm going to take my uh, my photo and get, uh, corner of that damn guitarist and get his yeah, autograph. the only one you didn't get, Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, there was another shirt I, I wanted, too, because I showed you the one I got last week. And that one, uh, it's like a it's a beer cap, like a bottle cap with a Canadian uh, flag in it. Yeah. And the Mudman logo uh, t- uh, name. So you see, there's two I want, so that's why I want to hit the October, uh, the uh, Aaron one. They can maybe get the one and then yeah. get the other one and the Fergus one. And see, this is the nail biter, too, because the one shirt I ordered for him, I could have bought two shirts at the actual show. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's, that's, that's uh, and, with, and get change back. Yeah. Um, so it's... Uh, well, like you said, what I told you also, like I took, I didn't have cash that day when we went to the, the Mudman one, and I didn't, um, so I used the ATM machine there, and it says it charges you two twenty five, which right. it, it did. So I I took forty dollars out. It was supposed to be forty two twenty five, and then my bank dinged me another two dollars for using. A non, a non, one of their non, oh, yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. So it actually cost me forty four twenty five anyway. Oh, so, no, no. so it's. Yeah. We both got <laughs> well, screwed by our, man, yeah. our banks. You a little more than I did. Yeah, but, well, it is what it is. But I've had that happen with non-sufficient funds, yeah. too. I had that oh, yeah. happen once uh, something went through. And it, it, it registered it before the, the money, and it went through at the same time, but it registered the, the stuff coming out before the money going in. Ah, okay. And I, I, I complained to the bank about that. I said, yeah. that shouldn't you shouldn't ding me for non-sufficient funds when they're both going in at the same time. Yeah, no shit. But uh, they yeah. run by their own laws. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you say, what can you do? You know, you yeah. can bitch and moan to your blue in the face, but you can't. Yeah. What you, you know, I've adopted the philosophy, you know, why worry about what you can't control. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, life throws shit at you. You can either bitch about it, you can complain about it, but, you know, if it's not going to change anything. Yeah. You know, you might not like it or whatever, but. You know, well, that that one punches. that one that I did, they, they they were nice enough to reverse it because they agreed. Yeah, because they they both came in at the same time. It yeah, can be yeah. done. Oh yeah, it's just the computer processed one before the other. Ah, no shit. Yeah, it's a computer problem. But yeah, so I, I know what you mean. I yeah. I've I've well, like I said, I didn't get. I didn't really get that upset about losing the shirt. No, no, no. I just said next time I'm thinking a backpack or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, you know, I I went. A couple episodes ago, I talked about how I was in the hospital due to high blood pressure yeah. and stress and all that. And yeah, just, that's yeah. why I decided to adopt this new philosophy. You know, just don't sweat the small stuff. But that's what it boils down to. Yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. Like just. Well, that's uh, what'll be, what'll be. You know? I've learned that since my mom passed, and I'm, I've been looking after stuff, and then I'm like, I don't sweat yeah. the smallest stuff. No, you, I worry you, about the big stuff. <laughs> you've changed a lot. Yeah, since since your your mom passed. Yeah, I've noticed you you've matured quite a bit. Yeah. yeah, which is really cool. I, uh, I but I've I, I've I've learned that you know I, I worry about making sure I got my rent. Yeah, and I get groceries. Oh yeah. Anything else I can like, 
I know I try to make sure my my phone bill and my internet cable bill is paid but if I can't have the full payment I know if I give them something at least I'm not going to lose the service yeah yeah cuz in this day and age sometimes it I'm I'm sorry having a roof over my head and having food is a little bit more uh, important just, than just a bit than just a bit those two if I have to go without uh, having internet and that I can just always come over and hang out with you and watch TV oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. but yeah but you know what I mean but yeah. the little stuff you don't worry about it's the big stuff that you got to worry about oh, yeah. and, you know I mean, I think my lucky star is every day to be in the position I'm in because, like, like I've told you before, I'm legally blind. Yeah. As a result of that, I collect uh, Ontario disability. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, I'm playing with the cards I've been dealt with. Yeah. You know. Um, I'm in a place that is fortunate enough uh, to have RGI, which is rent geared to income. Yes. And uh, if it weren't for that, I'm pretty sure I'd be in a tent, tent encampment right about now. So I, I do not take one solitary second for granted where I'm at, where I am, and, and how lucky I am to have this place. Well, you, you know, I've, 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 actually today, yeah, the 31st, right? Uh, 17 years to this day is when I moved into my apartment. Nice. 17 years today. That's a long time. But I've always told you if it ever came to it that you had to do that. I've always got a spare room, and you're, oh, yeah. you're welcome. Yeah, I wouldn't my let mom, you be. My mom said the same thing. Yeah, so you wouldn't sure. be. A, you wouldn't be on. No, 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 <laughs> no. And I'm but sure yeah. I'm the same way. I'm, I'm blessed. I, I really am blessed to have yeah. great friends. Great, yeah, great family. I am blessed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Know. I don't take any of that for granted. Yeah, like I'm on ODSP too. Um, yeah. Like, like I, I said, I was big. You, you know, I was way bigger than I am now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then and I'm sugar diabetes, but I'm lucky enough that I can actually work. Yeah. And honestly, if I wasn't working and getting that income, I'd probably I'd be I have enough to pay my my rent, but I'd be going to the food bank or whatever because yeah, yeah. I like I only get well they give me an extra hundred for um, working, which they take back anyways. I right. don't know why they give it to you. Yeah. Anyways, so I I get fourteen hundred because I get some extra for medical supplies for. Uh, uh, diabetics and that yeah. so 1400 and my rent's like 1200 and something yeah, yeah. you figure that's like 200 and something <laughs> i got left to do groceries and yeah. and when i get paid every two weeks i i i do about 200 dollars shopping just for like two weeks oh yeah yeah i need like at least 400 just to, with the prices nowadays that's crazy no, you used to be able to fill a, a, an entire grocery cart for like a hundred bucks. And oh yeah, I know. You, you're lucky if you get three bags full of well, groceries for that. So. Look at yesterday when you bought that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like what was it, fifty? Fifty and change. And I and I I didn't buy that much more. Mine was like sixty eight. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, you know, it's the way of the world. And I'm, we're not trying to bring these down. It's no. just, well, it's, and it's we're super, rolling with the punches. That's like that's I'm, what I'm saying. You know, you, we could be depressed about it. We could be yeah. sad about it. But what's it gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I try to have a good outlook on things, try to be happy. Yeah. Some days are harder than others, but, you know, we do. The way I look at it is as long as I got some food that I can uh, make something to eat in my my freezer and my fridge and that, and I got a roof over my head, I'm fine. Yep. And if I can pay for my uh, my internet, that's even better. Like, um, yeah, yeah, I I told you, um, I'm still... I still got... Once I get my bell bill finally fully paid off, I'm going to do that next next month or well my next well yeah it is next month because my next paycheck Mm -hmm. monday's the next month but i'm gonna pay them off and i told you i'm 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 on a thing where they they want to bundle a home phone and but i'd rather just pay for the internet than pay for like i'm not even using the cable oh yeah yeah (laughs) the home phone i do use right now because it's hooked up to the buzzer but i can always get it hooked up to my cell phone so oh yeah, yeah yeah But so yeah, see, I'm always looking for better ways, and oh, for sure. I talked that over with you. You suggested I do that. Yeah, I'm just trying to get caught up, and then yeah. <laughs> cut corners where you can, get rid of things you don't need. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's all you can do. But yeah. um, and did I talk about my uh, windshield last week? No. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I got my windshield cracked. Yeah. And remember, I said I was worried about that, and that was a good a thing to worry about because I didn't know if everybody said you'd have to pay your deductible and. That could be anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks, oh, which yeah. is big. But then I found out that my deductible was only zero. Yeah. So I can get it done for free. Yeah, shit. So that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, but like, rolling with the punches with for stuff like that is yeah. what you got to do. That's all you can do. Like, you, go well, crazy. You, you go crazy otherwise. You saw me that I got that. I wasn't worried about it. I was just like, damn. Oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. it's cracking. Okay, I got to get that fixed before it goes all the way across. Exactly, yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. 
I uh, saw the new Roadhouse movie this week. Roadhouse. Oh, okay. The uh, Jake Gyllenhaal one that was uh, pr- the premiered on Amazon Prime. Uh, you haven't seen it. No, I haven't. Um, I can honestly say it was not that great. Okay, I've heard that. Yeah, it was not that great. The act, the acting all around was terrible, even by Gyllenhaal. Um, yeah, you. He fo- it's like he phoned the performance in. Oh yeah. Uh, zero emotion, uh, zero personality, and even the supporting cast around him couldn't have like the woman that owned the so bar. He's that basically he... doing it playing himself. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that about him. He has zero personality. Yeah, but, so I, but oh, yeah. I've seen him in better movies. Oh yeah, I and have he was too. he was a boxer in a movie called Southpaw that I absolutely loved. Yes, yes. And uh, but anyway, um, like even even the woman who ra- owned the bar that hired him. She, she couldn't act. She, she could not act. It was just really, really cringeworthy acting a lot in this movie. You even said Conor McGregor. Conor, couldn't act. well, Conor Get McGregor. Well, he's not an actor anyway. He's a fighter. No, but he he couldn't act himself. Act his way out of a paper bag. But there is some fighters that can act. Oh, oh yeah, of um, course. What was the one that was in A Team? Oh, that was uh, Rampage. Quentin, Ramp- Quentin Jackson. He yeah. could act. Oh yeah, he was good. Yeah, and I've seen. Ronda Rousey was in a couple of movies. She, I don't, she's I don't consider, a little. I don't consider her a very good actress either. Well, the the one movie I saw, she didn't talk, so ah. <laughs> so she can act that but way. But I think I, th- I believe this Roadhouse was Conor McGregor's first acting gig, or one of his first. Yeah, well, and um, it was it was cringeworthy. Yeah, but, uh, the, uh, the 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 pacing was very slow. Oh, Throughout the movie, he had a couple fights sprinkled in, whatever. So a bad director too. Yeah, but um, the third act, the climax, the fight scene, the fight scenes were amazing. Oh, that yeah. kind of redeemed it a little bit for me. Mm. I absolutely love the fight scenes in the end. So I'll just fast forward to the end. Uh, no, that, that's what I would suggest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I was, but I was excited for this because I love the original. Yeah, the original I do is too. Like one of my all-time favorite, you know, Patrick Swayze movies. Yeah. And uh, this one doesn't even hold a candle. It's not even not even the same ballpark, let alone the same league. There, I wouldn't. I uh, I would uh, not suggest it unless you like the fight scenes. Uh, so then, then it's worth a look. Yeah, I just think like, yeah, that's uh, Roadhouse is up there with. I have like three the uh, Patrick Swayze movies that I really like. Roadhouse. Yep. Point Break, <clears throat> which is also a Keanu Reeves one. Yep, I yep. like. And uh, Red Dawn. Oh, okay, yeah. Because yeah. he's in that one, too. Yeah. He's, he, he's a really good... My three are Roadhouse, uh, Black Dog. Okay, I've never seen Black Dog, so I can't... Have I not shown you that? No, you haven't. Where you said the, you were going to, but you... trucker? No. no, but you never showed it Holy to me. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Meatloaf's in it. Randy Travis is in it. Yeah, you oh, never... Oh, shit, dude. We gotta do oh, that one. Oh, I know. We gotta watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And your other one, you said... Um, Black Dog. Uh, um, yeah, Black and uh, Dirty Dancing. That's my other one. Dirty Dancing. Okay, yes. That, yeah. That's in there, too. And, 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 and I don't and mind Ghost. Ghost either. gets an honorable mention yeah. for me. But yeah. Well, Dirty Dancing would be an honorable mention along with Ghost. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, no. Yeah, yeah. the original Roadhouse, I would I would watch hands down over the, over the remake. Maybe that's a segment we should do for this, is that maybe pick an actor every week and say the, our top movies that we like of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actor, actress, and maybe people uh, give some people some suggestions to watch some movies that we, they haven't saw. Oh, no, no, do, yeah. yeah Just for thinking sure. for stuff for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. I think people might like it, you know. So this week, I well, I've told you in a previous episode that um, I used to, I went mall walking with my with our yes, buddy Chris. Yes, yes, uh, which we did for about two months off and on, and I made the decision this week to put the kibosh on that. Yeah, uh, because well, for for one, we're not consistent. No, I you know and. Uh, you know, either he'll cancel for whatever reason, or I'll cancel for whatever reason. Usually, him with him, it's his, his foot or whatever. Yeah. Uh, me, it's either I didn't sleep well and I'm exhausted or whatever. Like neither of us is to blame for that. Like, yeah, whatever. yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, but for for me, like him, he works just up the road from Stone Road Mall. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, me and he, and he and he works the night shift, so he's already awake. Yep. Come. Seven in the morning. Me, I have to get up at six thirty, or I get up at six a.m. I'm out the door by quarter to seven. Uh, hop two buses to get to the mall by seven thirty to walk for an hour, and then I have to take two buses to get back home. At which point, when I get downtown, 
the uh, 10, which is at that point on the 20 minute route, doesn't leave um, Guelph Central Station until 15 minutes after the fact, to which point I can't even get on the bus because the driver's on the brake. Yep. So the monotony is just through the roof. So I, what I did was I messaged Chris on Wednesday night Yep. and uh, told him this. And uh, to this day, I've not heard a response. Yeah, you, you were telling me that yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think he's pissed. Yeah. Well, I, I honestly... Because he, he, he always, at the very least, responds to me. Yeah. I I thought, well, honestly, you should have picked some place that you... Well, I know at the mall because of when it was the winter that, but it should have been some place where you both had to travel to, so it was equal distance in yeah. that way. But like uh, I told you, if you want to walk sometimes or like... Uh, Hell, mm-hmm. I'd even do it like if you wanted to walk, I'd yeah. come get you. We go down to my, I got the park right near me. We can walk in the park. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll come get you. So, yeah. <laughs> and I, mean, yeah I mean, I was done work or whatever. But I mean, yeah. I've been, you know, I'm trying to get back on track with this diet, which is hard. Too, yeah. And it's like, it's counterproductive because we keep canceling. You know, at best, we've been going maybe one or two days a week. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the, the ends don't justify the means. You know, you're. You you're not, you're not burning off more than you're putting on, basically. Yeah. And I just and, and like I said, to get up that early and to, and to go all the way down there, uh, you'd it, be, be better, it, better off to try to get yourself a treadmill or be, something. Yeah. Or right be, it became a chore. Well, you got but, your uh, saver you can do. Yes, but um, for whatever reason, he's not talking to me. I have no idea why. I don't know. I haven't heard from him since Thursday, no. but so if he's pissed, I hear sporadically from him. Yeah, but I mean, if he's pissed, that's on him because. But right now, I know he's got a girlfriend, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I just don't see why he couldn't respond to me and at least acknowledge this, you know. Oh, I, I know. That, I don't know. Makes, he that, always responds that to makes you. makes no sense I know. to me. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I'm an adult that made an adult decision to cancel this. Yeah. And, and there's he, nothing that stops he's, him. He's that he, he doesn't have to. He can do it himself. Well, yeah, there's nothing stopping him. No, there isn't. There's nothing stopping him. No. So, um. I don't know if he's got a hair up his ass about it. I don't know. He's not talking to me, so. Um, oh well. C'est la vie. Yeah. C'est la vie. But. Um, so what else you got on there? Well, I. Uh, <laughs> um, last week, mm-hmm. or I guess probably the week before last. Now. Yeah. I got this friend. I got this uh, friend request. Oh, on, okay. On, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. On, on Facebook. Yeah. And I was reluctant. I had a couple of mutuals, but I was reluctant to accept it because a lot of those times they're usually. Um, like uh, like porn bots or whatever. Oh, yeah, what yeah, 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 or, yeah. Or hacked accounts that try to siphon money from yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But um, I know what you mean. But because there were a few mutuals there, I, I took a chance and accepted it. So mm-hmm. this woman messages me later in the day. And yeah. We strike up this conversation and all that. And um, I asked her, I said, um, you know, do I know you? I said, you added me. I said, I'm terrible with names, you know. And yeah, she said, that's no, true. She, she said a mutual friend had told her. That I was a really nice guy, and that uh, she should add me. Okay, so that's fine. Well, so we're talking. You know, talking. Did to, they tell you what mutual friend it was? No, I have no idea who this person is. That that evidently suggested. You th- that. think they would tell you like if some friend told you this? It, well, you would think. I yeah. Because I, I asked, and she just kept diverting the question. Okay, yeah. So. Um, Suspicion number mm-hmm. one. <laughs> All in a trap. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, like we're, we're just idly chit-chatting through Messenger or whatever. Yeah. And yep. uh, she said she wanted to meet me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, um, you know, we can go for... Because uh, she told me uh, what part of town she lived. And I said, well, we can go to the Timmy's closest to you. Yeah. Meet up for a coffee or whatever. Yep. And I uh, said, sure, sounds good. So the, that, was, that was planned. Yeah. Then um, the couple of days that followed, she would message me uh, going on about how lonely she is and how much she wished I could be over there to keep her warm. This is the person that was messaging when we were at the Mudman? Yeah. Okay. And she messaged a lot. You saw that. Yeah. She was constantly messaging. I I asked you, did you tell her that you were at a a concert? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Jeez. She said, I'm so lonely. I wish you were here with me. I wish you could keep me warm. And I, I've not met this person. No, that's I can be red a serial flag killer for all she knows. Yeah. And I, I'm thinking, oh, my God, red flag. Red flag, you know. And and I would say that's red flag number two. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I, dug, I dug in. Like, she has three different profiles on Facebook. 
Okay, and, that's red flag number three. Well, that, no, a lot of people do that. That's oh, I, I, I don't trust people that do that. But, um, like, some people do it for the, for games and shit. Or yeah, they, okay, yeah, yeah. Their previous yeah. account got blocked Oh, or okay, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't read anything into that. Yeah. But I was looking at her friends list, and, and I knew a lot of people that are in her social circle. Yeah. Who are... Um, Questionable? Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I found out that she, you know, she likes pot. She likes to do her drugs and stuff. And Oof. I thought, no, that's a red flag, too. Oh, I, don't, I don't touch I'm the shit. I'm not into that. And I don't really want to be involved with somebody who does. That's just my no. personal preference. I'm not knocking anybody who does it, you know? No, no, me <laughs> either. I know, you're, I know your, your pothead's Christmas is coming up, April 20th, you know? So Yeah, 420. Yeah, 420. Yeah. <laughs> I don't knock it, you know, but the, I, I've been in a bunch of bands. I'm, I'm used to being around it, but that, yeah. it's not something I want to be involved with. Yeah. So um, I just, I decided to just put the whole kibosh on the whole thing. I don't blame you. I thought, you know, someone I've never even met practically begging me to go go, go to her. Yeah. And 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 then you got, you know, I've got people, you know, people like Chris basically saying, well, you should go, you should, you should have gone anyway. You're gonna gotten lucky and all that like, uh, and I, and that's I, a high school attitude and i'm well, surprised I mean, I, I, like he's 40 some odd years old come on act your age man not everybody thinks about that I'm, I'm almost 47 yeah and that's the furthest thing from my mind like, you know I, 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 I was willing to meet her for a coffee and, and at the very least make a new friend yeah that's and if something were to progress from that naturally whatever yeah that's how i am and i'm like coming and, up 52 and it's like uh, you know and I'm, I, I know chris said that to me and i was uh, i almost said to him what are you still in high school yeah it's like come on yeah it's very 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 uh, and you yeah. wonder why some women <laughs> talk about guys that way well but um yeah. it's uh what's i gonna say you were saying about uh, um you're not that kind of person no i mean I've never been one to pursue a relationship with anybody. I, I, I could care less. I'm very content being alone. I always have been. Actually, sometimes I prefer it. Yeah, I mean, you look all around, you look all around, you see all these people breaking up instead of making up, and it's like, you know. And, and I, I, you know, I've been in relationships, and I, and, you know, and, you know, they obviously haven't worked out because I'm single now. But uh, I, I don't pursue. I'm not out to pursue a relationship. But if, if love happens to find me, that's fine. Like I, I won't, I won't shy away from it. Yeah. Um, you know. But again, when you got someone coming on this strong, and we haven't even so much as met. Yeah. I thought no, that that's that was rubbing me the wrong way tenfold. Yeah. And well. They, see, and I, and I, and okay. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna agree for the sake of, of sex. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm I, if, if you wanted sex, you could. And I'm. I'm not meaning anything, but but you could always go pay for it if you want it. Really oh, well, want it. Oh, if you really want it. Well, like, I don't. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that's the thing. Like, well, yes, some, it's always an option if you got the money and the yeah. libido, and I, yeah, la I, la I lack both. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying I know what you mean, and like, like for me, like I said, red flags and that because I, I've not been in a relationship, but I've had the thing where women have like played me if you know what i mean uh -huh. like, you know they they pretend they like you or whatever or oh yeah, yeah. and i've had ones where they're interested into you, in you like up until like three years ago like i said i was looking after my mom and living with my mom and that and i have matured a lot now if yeah but um they find out either how much money you make or what you do or oh, yeah. your situation and then they're oh bye yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you see tons of them like and i find this funny and my cousin, who's in a relationship, she's said to me, she goes, she's got friend, tons of friends and that. And she, she's even told them, well, the problem is, like, they're looking for all these good men or the nice guys and that. And she said, well, you know, it, it is, it's, those are the guys you've thrown into the friend zone. And they just wandered off mm -hmm. and gave up because you want to go after yeah. some, you don't see the person that's actually been nice to you and oh, yeah. all that. Well, I've done the date and sight thing. Yeah. And the second I, you know, nine times out of 10, the second I would tell somebody, you know, I'm, I'm legally blind and I'm, a, you know, I'm, a, I'm living on disability. Oh yeah. They're gone. Goodbye. Yeah. But, uh, you know, which, which in a way I get, some people look for stability. Yeah. I get and, that. And, and, and some people don't want to feel like they have to take care of me or whatever which, yeah which i would never ever ask of anybody i've been no. independent you know most of my life yep so it's it, I, I don't need someone to 
take care of me or, or financially or otherwise. Yeah. But, uh, and with mine, they didn't understand. Like, I was, my mom legally couldn't live by herself. So yeah. I was living with her that. So I was like a mama's boy. But I'm looking after my parent. I'm doing something responsible. Yeah. But still, I understand. But, but I've had it now. They ask me what I'm doing. And I say, like, I, I work, whatever. I, it's a little bit above minimum wage and that. And they're like, gone they don't care oh yeah it's like well what do you want like nowadays there's even people that have stable jobs that can't are just willing to pay check to paycheck so what do you want yeah oh shit but uh well it's some of these women want uh, like and i'm not meaning ones around our age because some of them uh, some of them are coming up realizing stuff but a lot of them wanted the guys that are making more money than they know what to do with oh yeah 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 or the the model six pack and that those guys are dime not that there's not that many of them and you'll <laughs> find, oh and if you do find them they're not that bright upstairs well, i've as, noticed as far as i know as, as far as i'm concerned mm-hmm. you know people people you know a lot of people out there are looking for the bbd the bigger better deal yep 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 um That's but true. Yeah, at the end of the day looks fade yeah and, and and what you can hope to be left with is some uh, somebody that you, you know you can count on, rely on, love, and be want to want to be spend the rest of your days with, regardless. The big thing that I've found where I've been getting rejected now is when they ask me, "Well, have you been in a race relationship before?" And I've said no, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh, well, they don't want to take a chance on me." Mm-hmm. And I've I've said, "Well, honestly, I hadn't always pursued it because." At the last little bit, I know I was bigger than that. I wanted to work on myself, get myself to where. I like myself yeah, before yeah. I go with well, yeah. somebody else. Well, that's just it. How can you expect others to like you if you don't like yourself yeah. as a person? And now I'm like, I like wh- how, where I am, how I'm mature I am and all that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not looking anymore because it's just so toxic out there. If yeah. I find somebody, I find somebody. Yeah. Like uh, somebody told me, oh, try um, the Facebook um, uh, dating, dating or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I found some girls, uh, women like, uh, I, okay, she. With that, you got to go by attraction, too. I know it sounds yeah. superficial, but you're just looking at a picture. You can't, like, you know, mm-hmm. like, so I like to, if I met somebody in person and they weren't as attractive, but their personality was nice yeah. and I was attracted to the personality. But when you're looking on a site, you you can't get a picture from the personality. Yeah, yeah but, you don't have a whole lot to go on. But the ones that I've been in and I look at them and I look where they live and, like, okay, like North Bay or in the States, I'm like, yeah. No, I don't. I want somebody closer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to have to travel all the way up. Like, well, you can, well, you can change the parameters to, to closer location. Yeah, I, I, I have, but it's just... And then I look at them, and sometimes... I, the way I do it now, it's, it, it might sound weird, but I look at what their job is, and if they're like some kind of office job, I'm like, I, we're not going to click. No. They're, they're going to be like, yeah... Yeah. They're wanting some. Uh, I I know they're gonna want somebody. A College little. degree owns their own house and car and uh, takes uh, summer vacations at the villa in France. And <laughs> there was one. Yeah. I, I, I don't out of my league. There was yeah. one I was gonna message and I, I hit the wrong button. Yeah. I just hit the the little heart button instead of messaging. The, I just wanted to message them. I'm like, if anything, I would have um, to um, a friend of that because I noticed like because it'll tell you your mutual friends. Yeah. And two of my cousins were. Her mutual friend. So I was like going to mess. Hey, oh, you know my cousin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least I found a, like somebody a friend. Like she knew my two of my female cousins. So I'm like, okay. At the most, that would have been a friend. But oh, yeah. <laughs> hit the wrong damn button. Yeah, well. And you think you can find that back? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but no, uh, that's not what I look for now. I'm like, I'm like, I'm more looking for friends. Like, yeah. I got like, well, I can count the number of friends I got on my fingers. Yeah. And I it really, I only talk. Uh, two that i mostly talked to you and my friend nick yeah and i got there's my friend i consider you my best friend nick my, my best friend and then peter and chris are my close friends yeah. but i wouldn't mind having a female friend not like girlfriend that, but well it would be a girlfriend but like a friend gotcha 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 because sometimes you want a female's perspective on stuff too you know like oh, yeah. sometimes they have a different perspective on stuff that's why I do at work. I'll ask some of the females there that I, I'm closer with to get their perspective. But, you know, no doubt. it'd be nice to have, like, somebody you could call a friend, like, as a female. I'm not looking for anything. Like, I'm like you. Yeah. If something comes from it, it comes from it. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyways, we're at, like, 44. Okay. Um, what the hell was I going to say? You got some. 
Oh, yeah. Um, I just found out. Um, there was a restaurant in Toronto that I went to about six years ago. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, Chris and I went to a concert in Toronto, and we went to this restaurant beforehand uh, called Wahlburgers. And we were talking about going into it this summer. And uh, if, if uh, <laughs> Yeah. If um, you've never heard of Wahlburgers, um, it, it's owned by... Like basically, Mark Wahlberg, Donnie Wahlberg, and uh, their the brother, Wahlberg, their, their yeah. brother Paul, who was the chef. Yeah, and that is show on A and E called Wahlburgers, which basically it was a reality show, basically showing them how they built up their franchise. Yeah, yeah. This. yeah. So they opened one in Toronto a number of years ago, mm-hmm. and I just found out that they closed in January. Damn. And I am actually really disappointed because I really wanted to take Keith there. Yeah, we I were we were talking this. about doing that too. Because uh, their burgers, the burger I had was probably one of the best hamburgers I ever had. Yeah. Uh, if I'm if I'm being blunt. Now and the only way you can do it is go to the airport and buy a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have they have one at the at the Pearson Airport in Toronto, the Pearson International Airport. But in order to eat that one, you have to go through security and make, and have a ticket to go on a plane. Because it's past the past the gates. Yeah. So um, you're SOL unless you're flying somewhere. But um, fly from Waterloo to Toronto. Yeah, it's just <laughs> to get a burger. Just yeah. to get a burger. But um, that's an expensive burger. Yeah. But that was it was a neat place. Like, it, yeah. It wasn't overly fancy, but yeah, it had a lot of insignia on the wall, like the picture of the family on the one wall. Oh yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna dig up the po- the pictures that I took from back then and show okay. them to you, so you see what I'm talking cool. about. Cool. Um, but no, it was. Uh, I, I was honestly disappointed. I really wanted to take Keith there one time. Yeah, that's and because uh, like, shame. Like I said, it was one of the best burgers I ever had. I guess it, might, it must not have been doing so well, or their franchises aren't doing so well, or yeah, something. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, like I said, the one in the airport's still kicking, so I don't know. I don't know either. But, uh, and that's it's a good location. It's like a hop, skip, and a jump from the CN Tower and oh, yeah. and Ripley's and all that. Wow. Um, it's so it was in a good location. Yeah, it was right so. close. I think it's right across from Gretzky's restaurant. Actually. Ah, that might be the problem. It yeah, could be. Yeah, but uh, yeah. and the prices weren't bad. They're pretty much on par with where you go for a decent burger nowadays. Well, that's good. So um, hmm. I don't know. But, uh, point. And then, uh, well, just before we end, uh, mention uh, Lou Gossett Jr. passing away. Yes, Louis Gossett Jr. Yeah, uh, the actor. He was in the Iron Eagle movies, right? Iron Eagle, yep. Yeah, um, he passed away. Enemy Mine. He's he was in a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. He did Firewalker with uh, uh, Chuck, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was a really good actor. Jeez, eh, yes, he passed away. What did he, what did he die of? Um, I don't know, he, but he was eighty seven. He was up there, yeah. So probably, so probably it might have been natural causes. I didn't see been. exactly what it was, yeah. but. So, anyways, uh, I just yeah. wanted to say that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. rest in peace to Louis Gossett Jr. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess we can wrap this one up. Yeah, we're, we're at a, 48. So. Had a full plate here. Like I said, I made a whole list of yeah, uh, we, laundry list of topics. We've to covered work everything. Up. Yeah. So, it's been um, a good thing. Hope you guys have a good Easter. Yeah, have a happy Easter. Happy Easter and... Um, and and all that. Yeah, this yeah. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, this, uh, this is our last March pro- bo- uh, yep. podcast. So, Next yeah. week will be April. Well, tomorrow will be April. It'll be tomorrow will be that's April. Cr- that's crazy. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I'm getting closer to being coming 52. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not worried about well, it. Well, what can you do? You can't Have turn, a good thing. Can't turn back the clock. Nope. Can't get younger. Ah. Yeah. But, uh, it's, your young, it's how you feel. Yeah, it's about young it. at heart. Uh, that's about it. Of yeah. course, some days I wake up and I feel like I'm 95, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> that's just... <laughs> Oh, right. shit. Anyways, we're yeah. gonna say bye. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring that damn that bell. bell. Yeah, we would like. Uh, Let us know. <laughs> yeah, how you feel about yeah, this? Leave comments. You know, you got anything you want us to talk about? Let us know. Yep. And we, uh, uh, we'll see you in episode nine. Yeah, episode nine. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have a good one. Take it easy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> The Kitchen Sink has been produced and edited by Andy Radke. Thanks for coming.